man, got around. OG Seven back here, and today I have a tale of valuable lessons learned while in the belly of the beast, and how you can share that with those that you care about, so they don't have to experience the purgatory or the hell called maximum security prison. Hey guys. I just wanted to make this video, man. I reached 5,000 subscrib subs, um, subscribers, man. Me and Nate Dog, 916. Thanks to you guys, like, really supporting us and believing in the mission. You know, thank you guys for the love for going over to Nate Dog 916's channel, checking out the two interviews I did with him up in Sacktown. Shout out to Nate Dog 916, Nathan, his son, and the Sandman, his co hoster on his live stream. Check him out, guys. There, there are some really good people with some good content. But I want to get into the topic of the video because um, I want to talk to you about the number one most important lesson I learned during time in maximum security prison. And um, I don't want to waste you guys' time, man, you know, because I really appreciate you guys, man. And I, I, appreciate, it, I appreciate you guys enough to tell you at the top of the video. It's going to be a long video, dude, because I got a lot to cover. So let's get into it, guys. First, I want to thank all of my loyal subscribers. And the guys that support the channel through Patreon and PayPal. And the guys who believe in themselves enough to go into business with me in the Isogenics program has got me a big me and Big Nate916 to 5,000 subscribers, which is huge, man. I also want to say thanks uh, for the love, as we couldn't have done it without you. All you watching the videos all the way through, guys, which is very important, liking the videos with a thumbs up and comments to stimulate the algorithm because that's what makes the channel go guys my content you know there's guys that have been with me before when i had 50 subs bro back in 2006 when i was doing martial arts i always i've always had heavy content it's just now i figured out that you know to make my video shorter so you guys with adhd young guys i just ask you to bear with me because sometimes my videos have to be long just to you know lace you guys character recognition and all that but normally I've been trying to keep them short for you. And all I ask is that you watch through the entire video and give it a thumbs up in the comment, dude. Because that tells YouTube that it's worthy to be shared. Otherwise, bro, I'm, I'm not going to be able to help a lot of people. But thanks a lot, man. And, uh, you know, um, and subscribing and sharing to get the message out to more men. As the number one way to show that you, ha that you care about something is to share it with the, the people you love. And uh, do you love and care about it? As love is a verb, guys. And verbs describe actions, man. Speaking of which, uh, my love for you as men who are seeking the real truth about prison violence, rape, and dehumanization, and the sadistic practices in our penal system, has driven me to take action to give you all the gory details and description of all the events that I lived through in order to be able to come to you now to tell my stories that you might listen. So just think of me, man, like the award-winning movie Avatar, where uh, Jake goes through all the trials and tri training and tribulations to become a warrior of the Na'vi people so that he could speak to them and tell them of the impending conquest of their planet by the Earthlings. So I appreciate you guys enough to spend four hours of each day utilizing my vast computer network systems to research data and information to make sure that the prison stories I share with you have an up-to-date and relevant lesson to help the young men, middle-aged men, old and decrepit men who are open-minded enough to take the jewels and the gems I am dropping and run with the knowledge full, uh, full speed in the direction of their dreams and goals, guys. Uh, speaking of research, I appreciate you guys so much that I want to be totally transparent and share with you the very first step in my research to give you guys the most accurate, relevant, and up-to-date information in my videos as a data scientist. So guys, the very first thing that I do when I want to make a, a powerful and educational lightning video for you guys, is I do a Google search on the words that I'm going to discuss in my video so that I get the latest and most current definition of the word 
from either dictionary.com or Wikipedia. Then I read all the uh, the applications of the word, and then I make a research document to share with my ten dollar a month Patreon subscribers that they can click through all of the links and definitions so that they form a mind melt with me, like the uh, like the Borg from Star Trek, dude. I want you guys to be on the same page with me so I get the definition so you read through them, and then uh, you have like a you have a group mind think. And in corporate America, this is called a group mind think. And it's the very first step in forming a mastermind group of great and powerful forward thinkers. Then as they click through all the links and read all the data there, they quickly come to an appreciation of the time, effort, and thought that I, that I have put into each video. Because guys, it's, it's, it's very time consuming to make a YouTube video. It's not just sitting there in front of your fucking... Uh, phone and just talking, man. You gotta, if you really care about people, you want to make high quality educational, enlightening videos, man. And so then, after they, after you got, after the Patreon guys click through all the links and read about all the research I've, I've done, out of an attitude of gratitude for my efforts, they increase their investment in themselves from the $10 a month Patreon to the $25 a month, which includes a 30 minute coaching call with me, where we go through. Oh, we go over all their goals, dreams, wishes, and aspirations. And then, together, as men, we come up with the items and steps that they must take action on immediately to propel them forward to accomplish their goals and dreams. So that after five years of working with me, they will be living the life of their dreams. And I appreciate you guys so much to tell you that there is no overnight success or instant riches. And that the only real shortcuts in life are the long way. Because it is not the fast, immediate gratification seeking hare or rabbit who wins the race in this life. But only the tortoise or the turtle who takes the slow, boring, and hard road of paying his dues who wins the race and the prizes in this life. And anyone who tells you different is a liar, a con, and a con artist. And that is why I say five years with me, because everyone who comes to my channel does not have the entrepreneurial mindset or belief in themselves to start their own business and to go into business for themselves. That takes a very different kind of a guy, because we've all been trained as sheeple by the media and society, and even our parents in the educational school system, to be followers, dude. You know, to get in line and to do what you're told to do. You know, so I understand it's a mice and it's a psyop. It's actually called a mind fuck. You know what I mean? And that is why I'm here in your life. To walk you through the process of going from the average normal person to evolve into something legendary and phenomenal called the best version of yourself as you define it by our society standards. Because no matter how much we want to act like or think that we don't need to follow the norms or the values dictated by our society. If we really think about it logically, young, old, middle, or old age alike, most of us, you, you would, most of most of you would not survive without our structured, safe, and organized society. Is you are not built or prepared for the harsh and brutal reality of the of the uncivilized jungle, where the only law is that the biggest, strongest, meanest, hungriest, most dangerous, or well-prepared animal survives. And make mo no mistake, guys, we are all animals because we are mammals, first and foremost. The only thing that separates us from the beasts in the field is our ability to use our brains to think in order to plan ahead and prepare for future events. That's what helps us, man, like the dinosaurs didn't actually see the ice age coming, they didn't know how to prepare, plus their arms were too small, you know what I mean? Some of the wooly mammoths and stuff, they figured their, their fur coats would protect them, you know what I mean? But human beings, man, we saw the writing on the wall, whether it was through astrology or astronomy, and we saw that the weather conditions were going to change, so when then we started having the ability to build huts and igloos and things like that. So the appreciation that I have for you, men, as the future of the Silverback Tribe, is to educate you about your body because your health is your greatest wealth guys and let me tell you something man in this life man especially to you young guys and middle-aged guys 
and even older guys. You decrepit guys, I can help you too. But man, young guys, dude, you never want to go into the grave not knowing the beauty and the power that your body has within you, man. Youth is the greatest, your greatest asset. You got time on your side, but you got to use it wisely, dude. You have to use your youth and your power wisely, not waste it in prison, dude. That's a waste of life. So even if you've been to the pen, man, you got your badge of honor, hey, hooray for you. But now, dude, let's go ahead and reap the rewards. You know, if you paying your dues for your gang or your set or your hood, now it's time to prosper and grow, bro, from that investment. Get a return on your investment of time in the Pinta homes and become the best version of yourself, man. And what that means, man, first, we got to get you, man, on the isogenic supplementation program which is not just a diet, guys, but a healthy lifestyle system that is very easy to use and follow because it is all laid out for you. Because, you know, you all, a lot of people think that they know what diet and exercise and nutrition is really about, but they really don't, man. And how do I know, you might ask. You might say, well, how do I know? Because one thing, it's one thing to know something, but it's a, an entirely different animal to do that something. In other words, it is one thing to know the path, but an entirely different thing to walk the path, guys. The most powerful and helpful thing about isogenics is that it takes you from positive thinking to positive knowing. And the difference between wishful, theoretical, positive thinking and the practical reality of positive knowing is the real-life experience of you doing it, going through the process of living it, and then coming out of, that, of that, that positive experience with rock solid knowledge built on the strong foundation of having done it to accomplish your goals. Guys, there's nothing like going through an experience. That's why they say experience is the best teacher. And I just want to share with you guys as men. And even if you're a young dude, 14, or you're 24, or you're 34, you're 44, even 54. I'm an OG because I'm 60, guys. And I've had experience in the belly of the beast, the jungle, dude, corporate America, the hood. And all I'm trying to say to you guys is this, man. I care for you guys, man. And, dude, there's some things you don't need to experience in this life because once you experience it, you can't unexperience it, man. And let me tell you something. Once your mind's been fucked, it's hard to unfuck it, dude. Look at me, bro. I've been in therapy for 20 years, dude. And I still got problems. You guys see, man, I'm trying to be helpful, but I got demons I'm dealing with. But I try to, as I'm getting better, I don't want to wait till I'm a finished product because maybe I'll never get finished. But while I'm going through my process of healing and growing, I talk to you guys, man, and I just share with you, man, you know, what's going on so that you don't have, there's certain things you don't have to experience, guys. You don't have to get shot in the head or stabbed, bro, or, or go in the, in the, into battle or go into the belly of the beast. You don't have to do none of that because I'm going to, I'm going to take my experiences and tell you the good and bad of it so that you don't have to go through the trauma, but yet you can get the benefit of it, man. Um, because it's like the difference between, you know, sitting in your comfy couch, in your warm, temperature-regulated house, and you're watching a documentary, you know, on some men who are climbing Mount Everest in hopes of accomplishing their, their bucket list goals of getting to the top to plant their family tree flag and take a picture, and like take a, so, a selfie to post on Instagram and Twitter, right? I mean, you, you actually, man, I call that vicariously living. You know, a lot of you guys watch YouTube videos and motivational videos, and you watch these motivational movies and these documentaries, and you feel, you know, it's called living peripherally. You, you feel through peripherally like you've accomplished it, but you haven't. And a lot of you guys have this positive thinking, which I think is good. I think positive thinking is good. But you got to take it to the next level, which is positive knowing. So you're sitting here and you're watching these guys and they're climbing Mount Everest, man, and it's cold. And then they get to the top and they put their family flag there and they take selfies and stuff. And then, you know, what happens is, and you sit there and you say to your wife, positive, positively, that you could climb to the top of Mount Everest as well. Because you're confident in your skills, right? You know, maybe you're a mechanic or maybe you're a carpenter, maybe you're a construction worker. Maybe you're an IT guy like me, right? So you feel pretty confident in your skills. But let me tell you something, guys. Confidence in one area does not equate over to another area. I've seen it a lot, dude. I've seen a lot of... Check this out, man. When I was working IT, I worked in hospitals, dude. Medical clinics, bro. I've worked in police departments. I've worked in uh, businesses, bro. 
are working in accounting offices. And these guys are very smart business owners. But check it out. When I come in there and they call me in, dude, 150 bucks an hour, high-paid consultant to work on their stuff. Then the doctor wants to sit there. And these are world-renowned surgeons, bro. Like surgeons, bro. Not just plat. I'm talking about real, like, open-heart surgery, stuff like that, transplant surgery. And they're sitting there trying to tell me, hey, Rico, man, you know, this is what you should do. And I say, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. When I, when I come to your office, man, if I got a problem with my heart, man, and you're going to do open heart surgery, while well, I'm on the operating table, do I sit there and say to you, hey, you need to take the scalpel and go to the left and the right? Well, that would be ludicrous, Rico. I'm a, I'm a world-renowned surgeon, 30 years experience. Exactly, sir. So you obviously couldn't fix your fucking network, and you're fucking calling me, so please, pretty please, and I don't mean to use profanity, don't sit here trying to instruct me, because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. Your field of expertise in surgery does not transplant over. And I just want to share with you guys, I'm really proud of you in whatever your profession is or whatever you do for a living or if you're a family man or you're a man of God. And I know you're confident because you've accomplished a lot, but that does not transport over into every area of your life. So I just wanted to share that with you because, you know, you're sitting there telling your wife, you know, you can positively, positively tell your wife, you can climb Mount Everest, you know, if, if you felt like it. Because you're confident in your other abilities. It doesn't work like that. Because it's, a, it's an entirely different beast. To take the 120,000 course. It's a one year course. Of mountain climbing training course. You got to take. In order to even get ready to do the 40 day task. To climb to the top of Mount Everest. Which a lot of people don't make it. Trust me. There's, let me make Google. There's a lot of dudes that are confident. And they took the training. Want to get the Mount Everest because it's on people's life bucket and they don't make it. But let's say you do. Let's say you make it, right? You take the hundred twenty thousand dollar a year for a whole year, so you got to take off work, and for a whole year you're training, and then you take the forty day. It takes forty days to climb the task to climb to the top of Mount Everest, which if you make it to the top, then you got to take fifteen days just to rest and recuperate in order to come back down the mountain, bro. It's this beast thing to do, man. Like, that's one of the top things, bucket list, like, you do, you tell people that. You're, like, bad dude, right? So, let's say you've done that. You went to Mount Everest, came back down. So, with this knowledge and insight and experience, you know, how do you think you would feel and react after having you, you lived through this, you know, through this now to be at a large social gathering with your wife, to hear some chubby little fat bitch boy paper pusher tell you that, because he's heard about, hey, you know, man, Bob climbed Mount Everest, right? So then, you know, because, you know, how everybody wants to feel like there's somebody. So he heard that, and then the chubby little fucking fat bitch boy paper pusher tells you and that he is positive that he could climb to the top of Mount Everest if he wanted to. And I want each and every one of you who wants to go to the next level in your life to get on the isogenics plan and follow the meal-eating plan um, a vegetable, salad, and at least one meal replacement, man. One meal replacement drink for the next 90 days um, for once in your life to feel the vigor, power, and vitality of being on a regimented, organized, healthy diet and lifestyle to see the results of a clean and focused mind caused by a powerful and fully functioning body for once in your life, man. For once in your life, guys, because I know for a fact that the way you will feel and the things you will accomplish over the next 90 days being on the isogenics and working with me on the coaching calls will commit you to staying on this path and following it for the rest of your life, or at the very least, for the, for the next decade of your life, like I have been doing. I've had the pleasure of being on isogenics for over a decade, bro. That's why I really believe in it, and that's why I share it with you, man. And everybody that knows me, they're on it, man. Because, like, the people that associate with me in real life, they see how I live. You guys just get this video representation. And I wish you could talk to the hundreds of people that know me in person. Young dudes, middle-aged dudes, older dudes, man. And this is what sales is about, guys. Sales is just a transference of your confidence to another person. So when people see me the way I live, the way I carry myself, dude, um, you know, banging women in their 30s, dude. I just got a baller lifestyle. And it's not about the money, dude. It's just about me being focused because I'm healthy. Because without your health, you don't have anything, guys. So I appreciate you, know, I appreciate you guys so much 
as the future of our country that I want to share with you that once you get your body right with healthy nutrition, supplementation, and education about yourself, coupled with learning and training practical real-life survival martial arts with me virtually via Zoom, your outlook in, your, in yourself, life, and other people in our society will change. And then from experiencing the positive knowing a healthy lifestyle, you will then be confident enough to take the next step, which is building a business of residual income from helping people get healthy. So then we can, we can build even more income from making safe long-term investments in the stock market and watch training, which watch training, which I talk to you guys all the time about. And then after, this is only after educating you on how to get the right life insurance policy that will appreciate like a house mortgage and pays you an income after you retire so you won't be dependent on Social Security, which will be non-existent in the next 20 years or so, if not sooner. Or if you want, like you younger dudes, you can edu- I can, we, can, we can educate you on how to retire with an income at 30, 40, or 50 if you're in your 20s, 30s, or 40s. That's why it's better the earlier you get started, the better, because then you can leverage time in a, in a compound way, which, you know, it just it gets better. But when you start out later, you don't get the same leverage. I mean, you're still going to get benefit, but it's not the same. That's why I'm really targeting this to young dudes, but I work with middle-aged dudes, even older dudes, even decrepit dudes, man. Lastly, let me say that I appreciate you guys enough to suffer and sit through all these long and boring Nikon D7500 camera fucking YouTube instruction videos so that this weekend I can start producing high quality content from a cheek busting university and how I became a shot caller in prison series, even though I didn't want to be a shot caller, to educate, enlighten you, and prepare you so that you don't experience getting turned out in prison like Jay Williams' homeboy, which he vividly talks about on his YouTube video. Turned out in prison. This is over on this is over on Jay Williams' uh Let's Live Life YouTube channel. I highly suggest you check it out. I went ahead and I put the video in the description. It's one of the best videos ever. And I just want to share with you guys, man. I wasn't always like this amped up, hyper yelling dude, man. I was like this, man, for a long time. I didn't grow up like this. I was an introvert, quiet dude, just did martial arts, straight A student and all that. And even when I joined the military, I was like a silent killer, dude. I mean, you don't yell a lot in the jungle. You just handle your business, man. But, dude, once I got to prison, man, and I experienced the horrors of prison, I didn't know I had claustrophobia, dude. Claustrophobia is a fear of enclosed places. And so they locked me up in a six-by-six six cell, dude. And I'm, I want to be honest with you. I was one of those dudes going, Let me out of here! I was supposed to be here! It's not right! And I would kick on my cell door and all that shit, bro. But once I realized nobody was coming to open the door or save the day, I had to turn it inside. And even when you turn it inside, it's still painful. It's still painful. So that's why now when I'm on here and I'm in therapy, I yell a lot. And I'm sorry, man. I try to be calm and cool and collective, you know, like Nate Dog, man, 916, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I'm not him, dude. I don't know why he's so calm and cool. He did 17 years in prison. I only did 10. But, I mean, everybody's built differently, homie. I, I got psycho, psychological traumas, man. I'm not saying he doesn't, but when you meet him, he's like a really suave dude. Like, he could be like a pimp if he wanted to. He's just so calm. But the reason I'm bringing this up, guys, is when you go over to uh, Jay Williams' channel, like, I think he's from Philly, man. Don't, mis- don't mistake me, but I know he's from back east. But them was the kind of white dudes I used to associate with when I was growing up, man. I used to actually be like Jay because I'm mixed, right? But Jay's really calm and cool. He's like he's like Nate Dog nine one six, and you know he's, you could tell he handles his business. He tells good stories. But I'm just sharing with you guys. I used to be relaxed like that. I used to be just calm and cool, and mellow. If I had a problem with a dude, I just handled. It. I didn't talk a lot. I didn't scream a lot. I mean, it's nothing to talk about. You disrespect it. You handle. You handle. So I'm kind of like Jay Williams was, but he's got like an East Coast flavor. Whereas Nate Dog nine one six is a straight hardcore California dude, which I respect him. But you know, there's a difference between East Coast and West Coast, and that's why I got um, I got Nate Dog nine one six's channel in my uh, YouTube description, so you can go check him out along with um, J- uh, Jay Williams, because you can just see the difference in the personalities from East Coast to West Coast. Even though they're both smooth dudes, 
I was more like Jay, man, growing up, man. So I just want to let you know, he's got some very good stories. He validates everything that I said because the East Coast and West Coast different. But he's got some good stories. Go check him out. And so uh, I also preach you guys enough to explain in my next video. I got another video coming out. The five most important lessons I learned in Maximum Security Prison. And it explains to you why I don't do live streams, bro. You know what I mean? But, but, but I don't do live streams. And it'll, it'll, it'll tell you why, man. And it'll tell you also why I got to write out scripts to read to you. Because then, as you guys know, they've been following me. If I don't have a script, dude, I'm all over the place, man. And I don't really like to script my videos. But what I do is I write out the thoughts. It's like doing public speaking. I write out the thoughts that I want to do. Because when I don't script it, I'm going way all over because I got a lot of stuff to tell. I'm then being shot in the head, the frontal, my frontal cortex, bro. It doesn't process my thoughts properly. That's why I have to, I got to have something that keeps me on the on the track. But I wanted to shout out to Big Herc and Big Ab from Fresh Out, you know, because it wasn't for them, man. I wouldn't even have known to help people with my positive um, prison stories, man, because I'm not glorifying prison. I'm telling you the horrors and I'm turning it into a positive thing. I want to do a shout out to Cali Muscle. You know what I'm saying? I knew him in the pen, you know, because of his um his his mentorship getting on YouTube and everything. When I got out of the pen before him, when I seen him on YouTube, he's the reason I'm on YouTube, man. But I was doing martial arts first before I met Big Hurt. I want to shout out to uh Nate Dog916, you know, for taking me up to his hood, showing me love. His son Nathan is really cool, high tech, smart dude. And then uh his his business partner, Sandman. Sandman's a cool dude. I, I watched him on the Live streams, you know, you guys should check him out. And then I want to do a shout out to Life Without Parole for interviewing me because I was the first inmate she interviewed that doesn't have life without parole. Because as I shared it with her and I've shared with you guys, I should be doing life in prison. And that's why I'm, I'm very appreciative that I'm out here to be able to talk to you guys because I could be under the belly of the beast for the foul shit I've done. And then uh, I want to shout out to Jay Williams at Jay Williams Let's Live Life. And uh, Drew Guest at Danger Custom. My main man, Drew Guest, he's an awesome dude, martial artist. I'm going to be interviewing him on my channel. He's into action figures. He's actually getting me hooked up with some acting um, some acting instructors in Los Angeles because I'm going to be doing some uh, extra, parts in, in, uh, extra parts in martial arts movies along with Casey Lake. And I was actually headed down there to do that, but then the COVID shut it down. So that you're, you notice the movie industry shut down, but Drew... As you know, he's gonna hook me up with some acting lessons so I can polish my um, my character. And then, uh, you know, please show them these channels I just shouted out. Please show them some love by going over to their channels, liking their their videos, man, commenting and subscribing and sharing. See, because when you when you watch the video all the way through, or at least halfway through, I'll be honest with you, and you got to give it a thumbs up because it shows there's an algorithm, there's artificial intelligence in the YouTube coding. And when you give it a thumbs up, it raises it. And then when you comment, it raises it even higher. And then when you subscribe, of course, the subscription rate makes YouTube um, sh um, show it to many more people. And when you share it on your other social media like Instagram and Twitter and stuff, it gives these backlinks. It's a, it's a way deep science, but I appreciate you guys working with me. And if you help me out, bless these other channels. Because if it wasn't for them, you know, I wouldn't be reaching more people, man. And then, uh, you know... Um, Yes, sharing them, and now we are, we're 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 all in this together, dude. We're a community of men. If you believe in the message, dude, say this is the whole thing. When you appreciate somebody, it's called the law of reciprocation. So if you appreciate somebody, you want to therefore, and they're doing good stuff for you, you want to reciprocate by doing good stuff for them. So all I'm saying is, you appreciate the message, you young cats, middle-aged cats, older cats, even the crepe crep cats, the appreciate the pack. I'm not a professional speaker. I'm just trying to help you guys so you don't make the same mistakes I made and burn up 10 years of your life or 20 years of your life, you know what I mean? So if you appreciate that, show reciprocation and love, dude, by sharing the videos, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and thumbs up and man. It only takes a minute to thumbs up and comment, right? Because, uh, you know, we're all in this together as men, then, and it takes an entire community to raise a high-status man. And finally, stay tuned for more hard-hitting martial arts interview with Sifu Harinder Singh. And he's the modern day progenitor of the Bruce Lee's fighting style, Jeet Kune Do, as well as uh, hard hitting interviews with Sensei Jason Costanza, Sensei Casey Lake, BJJ Master Sonny Lee, and martial arts historian Drew Guest. And I want to tell my Patreons and PayPal subscribers I will be contacting you by the end of the week 
to schedule signing you up for the Isogenic system packages and scheduling your paid for and also your, your free coaching calls. So please be patient as I have been swamped by the number of people signing up to get on the um, Silverback team and work with me personally as their mentor and coach, guys. I feel so fortunate because, guys, you know, when I first came on YouTube, you know, a lot of guys were combative with me, you know, telling me that my martial arts didn't work and I'm a bitch boy and all that. And because I'm a disabled vet, dude, I got anger issues. You know, I got my channel shut down twice because I actually threatened some guys. And I'm not too happy with it. I brandished some weapons and I told them, you can meet me wherever and we can handle it. I'm not brandished right now. I got to clean my sword because I was doing some sword fighting training. But YouTube shut my channel down twice. And then some of my homies like OG Sarge, Tony Crawford, cool dudes that I know, they was like, hey, homie, don't don't worry about the trolls, man. Just ignore them because like Nate Dog 916 told me, if the trolls was really real warriors and barbarians, homie, they could just Google me and they come and see me in person and be like, hey, you know what, OG sit back? I don't agree with what you said, man. You know, ooh. And then when they hit me like that, I'd be like, okay, dude, I, I really respect that, man. You know, because that little fly hit you hit me with, man, it shows me you're a man, homie, and I respect it. Let's shake hands. I apologize for offending you. But let me show you some real martial arts. I really hit a dude. So that what that way, you know what I mean? You don't hit a beast of a dude. And then I'm getting your head ripped off. So we cool, and then we become friends, right? But I wasn't I wasn't mature enough to do that. I am now. So after Nate Dog, you know, talked to me, so I just I want to thank the trolls because basically what happens with trolls, guys, I just want to be honest with you. A troll is a person who looks at their life and they realize that they still have music trapped in them and they don't know how to get it out. They don't know how to sing their song. They don't know how to tell their message, bro. And then they look at a dude like me or Cali Muscle or Nate Dog nine one six or Jay Williams, or Wes Watson, or any of a slew of other guys who have come out of prison and are doing good, and they just say to themselves, dude, these dudes got out of prison doing good. I haven't even been to prison, and they just start hating, and that's just human nature. All I'm saying is don't hate the messenger, guys. I'm here to be here on your team. We all going to eat as the East Coast terminology, me and dude. If I got a loaf of bread, homie, you're going to at least get a couple slices, dog. That's how I roll, man, because once I bless you, Sometimes you help a person, you never know how high they're going to go. And sometimes, man, when you bless somebody, the blessings come back to you tenfold. I believe in that, man. So I'm really sorry for the people that um, I encountered in combat and maybe when I was on drugs and um, things ended with them, like giving up the ghosts. I'm really sorry about that. And I'm using these videos to, um, to pay for it and to help other young cats so you know and it's not cool to take somebody's life. Especially when you got to trade your life in the belly of the beast. Let's do positive things, man. I look forward to the adventures we're going to have together as men. And uh, I'm not going to make a Patreon on this because the the one the, the five most important things that I learned um, in, in being in maximum security prison, that's going to be a, a life changer. So there's going to be a Patreon on that because it's just going to go way deep into a lot of psychology and how you can use it to survive in prison. And then use it on the street. And so until next time, OG Silverback, out.